Hey, this is Phil Lilly, Lilly's Landing Resort and Marina on Lake Tanicomo. Going to do one cast this evening. It's Friday the 18th of May. This month is flying by. They are running. I'm not sure what they're running. I'll probably put it in the comments. Because uh, I thought they were going to drop it to uh, a half unit, but it doesn't look that half unit it's probably more like one I have got it's a number 14 gray scud and about 12 inches above that a number 14 red zebra midge it's a gold head 6x tippet I'm up by the dredge again I tell you, fish today was really good for almost everybody. I didn't hear or talk to anybody that did not do well. Let me get position here. We have a tournament tomorrow. Okay, that's about where I want my one and only cast to be. have a tournament tomorrow and I will put it in the comments it's American um, Missouri American Fisheries Society I believe something like that and uh, the money goes towards scholarships for college students who have an interest of going into uh, some sort of fisheries or um, conservation. So, what kind of bird is that? A little odd. I'm not sure if I've ever heard that before. Almost sounds like a tropical bird. Maybe somebody can identify that. Anyhow, fishing was, uh, was really good. Um, I heard Dwayne said that they were catching a lot of fish between Cooper and Monkey Island. Here goes again on power bait, and it didn't make any difference what color. Um, I went to the dam and fished from one to about three thirty, and. Uh, didn't catch a lot of fish, but I got some really nice quality fish throwing a 332nd ounce white jig. Um, I'll put some pictures up. I, I've already posted them to our Facebook page and uh, to the forum. But I was out by myself and I just had the big camera, so. <clears throat> Couldn't really take it picture that I want but it worked out okay I've got this set about five foot deep maybe I should have set it a little bit deeper I was hoping the zebra midge would act as an attractor it if anything and that they hit the scud but so far nothing I'm a little bit far from the bank I did try a, a 30 second ounce uh, white jig under a float and caught a few fish, but they wanted it swimming. I caught one fish. I saw him up on the surface just kind of darting around and um, threw my jig out there and jigged it a few times and he just attacked it. Um, Dwayne had a guy trip this morning and they were catching some really nice fish in the Narrows area on a white jig. Uh, he said that uh, the fish that they were catching, I'm gonna have to throw in closer if I'm gonna catch a fish. <clears throat> the fish they were catching were regurgit spitting up, regurgitating um, shad. But he said they were fresh shad. They were shad that they just ate. 
So we're seeing more and more, getting more and more reports, no fish on one cast, of, um, of fish still eating shad. Now these aren't the shad that, well they're probably the shad that came over the top, but uh, these are shad that are live and that are schooling and, the, and these trout are, are actually eating these shad that are in schools, which is a little different. I mean, it's, it shouldn't be surprising, but I, my guess is these schools of shad um, will eventually move down away from the dam and seek out warmer water. I'm really surprised I'm catching something. I'll throw in close to the back. My scud is weighted. And uh, also the zebra midge has a tungsten bead and wire wrap, so it's weighted also. So it should should drop pretty easy, pretty good. I've got I don't know if it's a pollen or what. You know, when I went out last evening, I went boated to the dam and <coughs> was going to fish for a while, and I got up there and the Clouds were coming in, and I looked on my weather app, and there was a, a cell that was just northwest, and the wind picked up, and I thought, I didn't want to get wet, so I turned around and came home. Of course, it didn't rain, but um, the pollen was just horrendous, and um, so I woke up this morning with a th sore throat and all the other stuff that comes with it. So if I sound funny, I'm just about down to the dock. I'm surprised. I could have thrown a, uh, a small jig. That was my second choice. I really thought that this would uh, get some attention. Anyhow, um, guys were catching fish up at Fall Creek uh, uh, all the way down. Uh, to hear, I mean, they this uh, this tournament tomorrow. Well, I think there's a couple reasons. You know, we I have talked about. Um, you know, they they've continued to stock fish regardless of the of the um, the water level, and uh, when that water when there was floodgates that week and before that, you know, all that generation that we had. Um, those fish were hard to catch. We weren't catching them, but they were still being stocked. I think now that the water's all stabilized and the fish are just getting used to the surroundings, they're starting to get aggressive. And um, so we have an abundance of trout in the lake right now. And uh, I think that's one of the reasons why we're seeing fishing is so good. Um, so it's been fun. Everybody's having a good time. It's a beautiful evening. It was a real nice day. Um, it's just one of those May days. No fish at all on one cast. Well. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll try again tomorrow.